hooked up fish on right away my first cast of the day what is going on guys today we are back with another video and uh, it is getting cold outside it is like the high for today is like 25 degrees and ice is on the way nice walleye on here and uh, what we're gonna be talking about today is just that ice fishing and uh, basically getting ready for it what you're looking for and a lot of things that are gonna make your life much easier and much more productive all out on the ice and uh, I'm gonna show you this fish here but uh, I think I can say just based on it I can obviously see the viewership on the YouTube videos I can say everybody is now interested in ice fishing and interest for being in a boat is slowly dwindling at this point and uh, here's a nice walleye got him on the Kalen's quarter ounce Google eye nice about 18 inch right there my first cast of the day look at that but uh, stay tuned we're gonna give you a whole bunch of tips on basically scouting how you can map stuff out to be very efficient out on the ice what kind of spots because a lot of times when where fish are right now is right where they're gonna be first ice so that's what we're gonna talk about today stay tuned um, we might catch a few more walleyes we might not we'll see um, but lots of tips on ice fishing all right so what's the biggest difference between ice fishing and open water well obviously the number one difference is open water you can you can see a lot of this stuff you can scan a lot more water very quickly so we're fishing here is a big shallow uh, kind of point complex to look at this ice fishing would take like a million holes several guys a ton of underwater camera work and a whole whole bunch of just dropping lines and seeing what kind of fish are down there right obviously open water i can drive right down this right away i can see where the weed edge is i can see what other kind of structure is there and due to side imaging i can see what's there for fish right and although we're looking at a shallow hump the same stuff is going to apply for deep pumps um, really any piece of structure right so we're gonna do a little bit of example right here so we got um our side imaging flipped open right here side imaging and sonar uh the sonar is not really going to tell us a whole lot so i'll probably just go full screen side imaging here make sure that's looking nice um and i'll throw some screenshots up here too in case you guys can't see it but we're in 23 feet right now we're actually coming up to the top of this hump right now and uh, it's kind of a big main lake point and a lot of these big shallow spots um shoreline related are great first ice locations and that's exactly the kind of spot this is um, there's definitely a bunch of fish here and one that i fish a lot but let's say i did not fish a lot how do you scout it out so like i said we're just coming into it right now we're in 15 feet coming up and what i really want to see is obviously how fish are relating to this if there's a weed edge where that stuff is and where is structure that has a lot of character on the spot right so we're in 11 feet right now and we're starting to see some weeds come in off the left at this point and i can see them there it's actually pretty thick right out on the tip of this i have some under us so one big thing walleyes love relating to these weed edges so what i'm actually going to do is start dropping waypoints on these weed edges like weed edge right here weed edge right here you know kind of mark this outside of this weed edge right and as i kind of keep cruising along it here we're going to kind of see what else i see all right so here's a couple of fish off my left on side imaging but not a big pot of fish yet there's still a few weeds right under me um, the fish are actually right here all right so it's a decent amount of fish it's like seven eight walleyes sitting right there on that edge so i'm going to go ahead and drop a waypoint on them quick so i know kind of where those fish are we're going to keep cruising down here we're kind of coming off the other side of this now so i'm going to kind of loop back into it and you can see very quickly you know, how, how doing this work right now goes a long ways as far as you know quickly coming out and getting on fish through the ice. So I'm kind of coming back up to this weed edge now and now I'm just going to kind of drive right over the top of it and we're going to kind of see what we see here. We're in 15 feet starting to pick up some weeds off my left right now. Not seeing much for fish right now good weed edge off my left and there's a few weeds right under me so i'm going to drop a waypoint so that that'll mark the edge of that weed bar right where the weeds start we're going to kind of keep cruising around and I'm, what i'm actually seeing here i'll go ahead and take a screenshot so you guys can see it really well i'm seeing some fish up on the inside edge and the outside edge of this weed so i'm going to go ahead and take another screenshot right now because this looks really good all right so what we have right here on our screenshot is a whole bunch of fish on the inside edge and the outside edge of this weed so I'm going to drop a waypoint on these fish right here. I'm going to drop a waypoint on these fish on the outside of this weed edge. And what you're going to see is very quickly, like I said, by driving down this, we got a great idea. And if you look at the side imaging right now, it just looks phenomenal. Big pot of fish here, big pot of fish here, weeds right down the middle. And what you're actually seeing off the left is a whole bunch more fish right here and then rock right on the crown 
of this area. So this spot has both rocks and weeds, obviously a very good spot. We know that walleyes relate to the inside edge, they relate to the outside edge. We have where the fish are holding mapped out via waypoints. We also have that weed edge mapped out. So, like I said, if you were to come out here and do the same thing we just did, which took, how long has the GoPro been running? Three minutes, if you try to do this on the ice, this would be a multiple hour endeavor to figure out what we just figured out. And we have these waypoints, and obviously we can take these waypoints, throw them on our unit out on the ice, and uh, be very efficient with where we're punching holes, where we're setting lines, and where we're jigging for those fish. Fish on, got another one on here. It's working this pod right out on a weed edge. And a lot of these shallow water weed edges are a lot of these kind of first spots where we actually do well ice fishing. And uh, what do we have here? Another nice walleye on here. Nice fish, nice fish. And this is too much fun. We've been doing this for a whole bunch of days straight now. And uh, the bite is good that is for sure here's another nice walleye here super golden perky fish right here up on the weed edge we're sitting in about 13 feet i'm casting to eight feet and uh if you're a big first ice ice fisherman you know that first ice is a lot of times the shallowest ice bite of the season for walleyes and fish like that can be caught really all day long up in there and fishing this late into the season. That is just a gorgeous fish. His color, perkiness, everything about him. All right guys, so in a very short amount of time, like we just drove around there and looked for fish, looked for weeds, looked for rocks. I'm gonna kind of show you that what you're gonna be seeing on your GPS after you do that stuff, right? So you can change your waypoints to kind of, you know, whatever you want. It can be a fish, you can make it a rock icon, you can make it a weeds. Um, I just have that kind of like vivid memory. I feel like a lot of times where I go over a spot, I drop waypoints, and I kind of know what they mean. But if you don't do this a lot, um, you know, you can, you can change your waypoints like you can see here. Like here I got a, a waypoint that's some weeds. Here I have one that's some rocks. Here I have one that's a walleye fit or a fish mark, right? Like you can see here, I'll zoom in a little bit more. So, you know, quickly driving around, you can see we got a waypoint here that's marking weeds, this one that's marking weeds, this one that's marking fish, this one that's marking weeds. And up on the inside here, we got another one that's marking weeds right here, and then another rock one way up on top, right? So in a very short amount of period of driving around, like you saw, we just did it live, we did three minutes, we drove down that spot. I have the perfect map that's gonna be able to set me up for success on the ice. When moving around, transporting all your stuff, drilling holes, you know, every that stuff is just so tiny consuming so doing the work beforehand in a boat looking at that spot so when you get there you know where to set up and drop lines and all that stuff very efficient right if you just have one graph you're going to do it just like i did where you mark everything out on side imaging or sonar um, and then you know you go back to your gps you're going to see it all and basically what you do if you want to take these waypoints and put them on a different graph a, a different unit is basically just export so all you're going to do is go menu menu i haven't done this in a while but uh i think you go to Let's see here, Shelby. Do you remember how to do this? I wasn't really planning on doing this. Oh, you go over here to waypoints, routes, tracks, or you can just go to waypoints, right? And I'm gonna go waypoints, routes, tracks. I'm gonna scroll right. Now, I'm not actually gonna do this, but I'm gonna go right to options. I'm gonna select all, or you can select individual ones. I'm gonna hit select all and export. And what this is gonna do, it's gonna export them to my SD card, which I am then gonna be able to take, put in a different graph, like a smaller five or seven size unit that you're gonna use out on the ice and uh, be very efficient out on the ice. So um, that's kind of how you do it. We just did it live and uh, it's, it's super obviously effective way to ice fish. Good job, good job. Keep them coming. Look at that. Soon we will be catching them on jig rods and tip ups. I'm excited. You're already wearing your ice fishing I suit. I am, yeah, I'm ready. I'm freezing. <laughs> 25 degrees out today. And uh, rods free. Rods freezing, freezing. nets freezing, Reels everything's freezing. freezing. It's a nice one. I'll take this. This is what I wanted. Good job, baby. Thank you. He was ready. Don't forget to punch the camera. Outro. Punch the camera for the outro? Yeah. Okay. Almost forgot to punch the camera. Jesus. All right, guys, so that is going to do it for today's video. I appreciate you guys watching. 
time. Just wanted to come out today, catch a few fish, kind of run you guys through one thing. I spend a lot of time doing this time of year, and I really spend so many days on the water late in the fall fishing walleyes that I, you know, you don't, it just, a lot of it comes naturally, obviously. You get to catch fish while you're scouting for ice fishing. When you start getting water temps that are 43, 44 degrees, where you're catching fish right now is pretty much right where we're gonna be catching them in three, four, or five weeks, you know, whenever it happens here out on the ice. So um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully it was some beneficial information for you guys. I am excited for ice fishing. It kind of gets to a point in the season where it's just cold and you know, you're just kind of ready. And I'm definitely ready for ice. It's gonna be a little while, but I am ready for it. But I appreciate you guys watching. If you're not yet, please subscribe. Stay tuned before Shelby and I forget to do anything. Punching the camera. See you guys later. <laughs>